this is Mari and I'm in Las Vegas at the 2017 Mr. Olympia Fitness Expo. We're going to check out what's new in the fitness world and the bodybuilding world. Come follow me! How are you doing today? Doing very good. Excited to be at the Olympia. So this is my first time here. I'm a little bit intimidated by all these really strong looking people. Now, what do you suggest that I do to start getting to that point? I feel like you should kind of ask them, how do they get there? What do, what do they do on a normal basis? There is a lot of average everyday people walking around here. I mean, it's not, you get everything. You get the top, very top of the industry. You get people who are just starting out. And that's what I like that kind of inspired me to I fit in and so everybody belongs here. Do you cheat every once in a while? Absolutely. I'm a huge foodie and you have to enjoy life. Cheating is necessary. You got to enjoy life and indulge in the things that you do like but in moderation. Okay. So it's going to be consistency over a long period of time. If you're good most of the time, you're doing great. So let's say on one day I want to do some pizza, some burgers, some donuts. Is that okay? In moderation, I absolutely believe it is okay every once in a while. Because if you deprive yourself from all the things that you do love, it will make you fall off the wagon eventually. I'm here at the Quest VIP Lounge with Ron. I've been told that these protein bars are just glorified candy bars. What makes this a lot different from Pretty simple. The biggest thing is the carbohydrate content. So this bar here, for example, has four grams of net carbs. We work really hard to make sure that when we do it, uh, the one thing people don't like to eat candy for is the sugar and the carb content. Right, right. So really, it is a protein bar, which is whey isolates, and um, we keep the carbohydrate content very low by using things like rare sugars like allulose, etc. So that, that's really why it's not really candy. I've seen the Quest bars everywhere, gas stations, grocery stores, everything. Can I just grab one and go and eat it? It used to be kind of a non-mainstream thing. It was among bodybuilders, figure competitors, etc. But if you look at the last five years, what's happened, the taste has gotten to the point where people that were willing to eat cardboard to look good, that was one thing. Nowadays, people really demand much much better textures, etc. So that's why you see Quest Bars now all over the place, gas stations, airports, etc because it's really gone from kind of a thing that was meant for competitors to mainstream. That, that's really where we've gone. So at supplementsworld.com, we carry a lot of your product. How many flavors do you carry? Uh, we've got 22 flavors right now. And what's your favorite? I'd say my favorite is probably the newest bar. It's the Hero Bar Blueberry Cobbler. Ooh, that sounds good. And then our number one seller is the Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. That's really been the, the top seller for the last six years. Wow, that's good to know. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ron. I had to come over here with the Lipoxy Derm Girls because they had so much energy dancing and everything, and I love that energy. Can you tell me a little bit about your product? It's basically a cream a lot of put people put it on before cardio. Okay. Um, there's caffeine in it. It's going to actually give you some energy, t help tighten up your skin, and help you burn fat, which is awesome. I like to use it for cardio, but I also like to use it all day long, especially when I waist train, so okay. it keeps my skin tight, keeps me tight, makes me feel good, you know, got to keep it looking good all the time. Sounds good. Well, ladies, thank you so much for your time, and have a wonderful day. I got to get going, all right? <laughs> 